Hello friends. So now that we have covered a few concepts on circle, here is exercise 10.4 and we will look at some of the questions here and see if we can solve them. So the first question here is that there are two circles and their radiuses, their radii are 5 cm and 3 cm respectively. And it is said that they intersect at two points and the distance between their centers is 4 cm. So here they are asking that what is the length of the common chord. Okay, so we have two circles, 5 cm and 3 cm radiuses are there and then they are intersecting at two points and the distance between their centers is given and you need to find the length of the common chord. Okay, so the first thing that we do is we draw this figure which I had already drawn in advance. So this is your circle with the 5 cm radius. So we just took a large circle and then this smaller circle is a circle with 3 cm radius as you can see here. Okay, so 5 cm and 3 cm. So you have uh, the center of the first circle at O and the center of the second circle, the smaller circle is O dash. So P and Q are the two points where the circles are intersecting. So common chord is basically PQ. So first thing is O, O dash is given as 4 centimeter. So that is first thing. OP is the rad radius and that is equal to 5 centimeter. So this is the second thing which is given. And then you have O dash P which is also a radius and it is given as 3 centimeter. So that's the third thing that's given. Okay, so you have these three things that are given and we need to find what is PQ. So let's assume that, so assume M O dash, let's assume that it's X. Okay. So M O dash plus O M, right? So this plus this is equal to what? O O dash, which is four centimeter. So for the moment I'm dropping the units. So once we calculate it, uh, then we will put it back. So M O dash is X and then O M will keep it as it is, is equal to four. So O M is four minus X. Right, so this is, these are the two things that we got here. Now, we will look at triangle O, P, M. Okay, so we will apply the Pythagoras theorem here. Right. So why can we apply this Pythagoras theorem? That is because we know that a line coming from center to the chord is basically the perpendicular bisector to the chord. So therefore this angle, angle P M O is 90 degree. So this is a right, right angle triangle with OP as hypotenuse. PM and OM are the other two sides. So by Pythagoras theorem, OP square is equal to OM square plus MP square. Okay. And what is OM? OM is 4 minus X. So this becomes 4 minus X square plus what is MP? we don't know so far. So we'll just keep it as MP. And what is OP square? OP square is five square, right? So five square is, this is five centimeters. So five square is 25. 
okay so so this is so om is 4 minus x and then you have op is equal to 5 so the because of these we put the values here and then this this is the equation that we got so mp square is equal to 25 minus 4 minus x whole square okay so we will treat it as equation c again in triangle p o m p o dash m okay so here again this is a right triangle because a line from o to m o m is again the perpendicular bisector okay with o dash p as hypotenuse and p m and m o dash as the other two sides o dash p square will be equal to p m square plus m o dash square so what is o dash p square so this is basically o dash p is 3 centimeter so this will be 3 square is equal to p m square again we will put it as it is p m square is same as m p square so it's the same thing plus what is m o dash m o dash is is equal to x so this is x square so 3 square is 9 is equal to we will change it as m p square plus x square because p m is equal to m p same thing okay so m p square again would be you take x square this side so 9 this minus x square so this is equation d so if you come if, so from c and d right so what do we conclude so you have mp square here you have mp square here so these two lhs is equal so rhs will also be equal so 25 minus 4 minus x the whole square is equal to 9 minus x square so 25 minus we will expand this right a minus b whole square so what will happen here a square which is 4 square plus x square minus 2 times 4 is 8 x and that is equal to 9 minus x square so you have 25 minus we will first solve this so 16 plus x square minus 8 x is equal to 9 minus x square so we will have 25 minus 16 minus plus minus x square minus minus plus which is 8x and this is equal to 9 minus x square okay so 25 minus 16 is 9 then you have minus x square plus 8x is equal to 9 minus x square so this term you can cancel because it's same on the both sides lhs rhs so if this goes that side it will be so 8x is basically equal to 9 minus x x square minus again 9 minus x square right so that means 8x is equal to 0 this implies what x is equal to 0 okay so so if this is x right the distance between this and this right so if this is x and then x is equal to 0 that means what that means what so if m o dash is equal to x is equal to 0 that means implies what o dash lies on m so that means the figure has to be changed here right and so how will the figure be so suppose this is the bigger circle and this is the smaller circle right so if this is o this o dash is lying here right and then p is here and q is here okay and if you draw this line here right so this is o o dash right so this will be the perpendicular bisector but you don't need that information anymore if o dash is lying here on the common chord then the common chord pq 
is diameter of the smaller circle right and then we know that the radius of the smaller circle is 3 cm right it's given so therefore pq is 2 times 3 cm which is equal to 6 cm so that is your answer